Welcome back. This is the video that many of you have been waiting for. A head-to-head -head with two of the best raw shooting smartphones. The Xperia 1 Mark II versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Will ProRaw blow the Sony away? Let's find out. Before we dive into comparisons, I want to make something clear. I own and use both of these phones. I've made multiple videos about shooting RAW with both of them. This is the exact opposite of those blind camera comparisons you might find elsewhere. We're going to cover four shots with two different scenes. Everything was taken in automatic exposure and white balance, and then edited using Lightroom. The last one is especially surprising. Let's start off simple outside. Here we have a greenhouse captured with the ultrawide on the Xperia. With some basic adjustments, we can bring out the trees in the bright sky. And it looks pretty good. Now let's switch over to the ProRaw image. You'll immediately notice the wider field of view since the iPhone is a 13mm versus the Xperia's 16mm lens. The image is also very bright, but we can fix that pretty easily. But did you notice the other big difference here? The house is not as green. It has a faded look when compared to the Xperia. Now we could tweak the color settings and boost the green here, but the Xperia just looks more accurate from the start. Now let's switch over to the other extreme, the telephoto cameras. And here's a close-up with the Xperia of that same house. Again, we can see how the green colors pop. And if we take a close look at the door, you'll notice that the top portion that's in shade has a little bit of noise, which is expected, but we still have some detail here. Now here's the ProRaw image. Again, this image was bright and I had to use curves to control it. If we zoom into the same area, we can see that there's some aggressive smoothening happening here. This noise reduction is actually all across the image, and it's one of the unique qualities of ProRaw. We can also see that this image is sharper overall. Now let's go indoors to make things more interesting. Among the hardest subjects to shoot are Christmas trees. They have many bright lights with dark areas in between. It can be quite challenging to get a balanced image. Some of you might have seen my post with this ornament. The left side was actually ProRaw. And here's the full image. Like before, this was very bright and I had to bring down the exposure. The main giveaway that this is ProRaw is the sharp look of the tree branches. But overall, it's a nice image. Now let's take a look at the Xperia's RAW file. Notice the difference? The tree branches have an out-of-focus effect, bringing attention to our subject. And the green color of the branches is also more true to life. These are similar findings that we noted outside. Side by side, what looks better to you? I personally like the Xperia shot here. Before we get to the most interesting shot, I have a question for you. You obviously take smartphone photography seriously. Why not show the world you shoot raw on your phone? Thanks again for supporting the channel. Here's a full shot of the tree with colored lights. This is with the Xperia, and it's quite an appealing image with the colored light hitting the walls here. If we zoom in, we can even see how the colored lights are lighting up the tree branches, and there's good detail in the shadows. Now let's take a look at the ProRa image. Whoa, this is bright. Even after bringing down the exposure one and a half stops, it's still bright. Notice how we seemingly lost the green color in the tree here. If we zoom in, we can see how the light seems to cause the green branches to almost appear white. There is some strange processing happening here. On the bright side, everything is well detailed and sharp. But I have to wonder, how does a dedicated camera handle this tricky scene? Luckily, I had the Ricoh GR3 in my pocket with its 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. And here's the image. This looks awfully similar to the Xperia shot. The trees look green, and the colors are reflecting vibrantly off the walls. If we zoom in, we can see plenty of detail, which makes sense given the double resolution at 24 megapixels. So what have we learned here? Well, ProRaw is impressive, specifically with the amount of detail and exposure information it can retain. But the Xperia fires back by capturing accurate colors and overall performance that's just closer to a dedicated camera. So the question is, do you value real camera performance or computational photography? 
This is only going to get more interesting as ProRAD develops. And the Xperia 1 Mark III looms on the horizon. Make sure you're subscribed for that coverage. And please like this video if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.